Hey there, Taurus. How are you? We're doing a special reading for you today. It's it's a special treat from me to you, Taurus, to all of the zodiac signs this month of February. This is going to be a love messages reading where we focus on a special message, a particular message from your significant other to you. So let's get started, shall we? I want to begin by using this deck over here. Not sure what the name of it is, guys, because it came in this plain white box, but it says Live Tarot here. Live Tarot. For those of you that care to know. Let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a special love reading where we focus on messages from your divine counterpart, from your significant other. Let's see, what is it that they want to share with you that they want you to know this time around this month of February? Let's see. I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. Interesting. I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. So here we have an individual, guys, that is constantly thinking about you. I feel like they want to see you. I feel like you are very much a part of their life, despite I'm hearing the present circumstances and despite any uh, distance or disconnection that you guys are experiencing right now, they feel very close to you. And in fact, I feel like they are reminded of you everywhere it is that they go. I'm hearing in the eyes of a stranger, in the smile of a stranger, I'm hearing the way they dress, the way that they look, the way they walk, the way they stand, the way that they talk. They're being reminded about you everywhere. Let's see. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. Another card that talks about thoughts, thinking about someone. This person, I mean, you're on this person's mind a lot. I feel like there's a lot of emotions um, that your significant other is experiencing right now, perhaps subconsciously, and, and which they can't really fully grasp or, or put into perspective. I feel like there's a lot of, uh, there's some regret here, most certainly about the present uh, state of the relationship I'm hearing and their role their part in making this present reality. I feel like uh, your significant other is not happy where the relationship is uh, presently. And um, I feel like there's a big part of them that wishes that things were different, that they could make things different. But I'm hearing uh, the possibility of, I'm hearing a, a, a of making things better perhaps seems a, a little far-fetched and impossible so i'm also getting that this person is feeling you kind of drift away and they're trying very hard i'm hearing to to kind of keep the memory of you or, or your essence i'm hearing the memory of you very much al al alive in their lives and i'm hearing and that's not very hard to do i mean it's kind of just i'm hearing you're kind of living on effortlessly here without even me trying to to make it so so that's pretty much what we have here guys i see you in the face of strangers you are always with me so this person can't forget you they can't forget about you My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. There's a lot of regret. This is a relationship, a connection I'm hearing it, which it has gone through some unfortunate events. Let's see. 
Let's grab some messages from here. This is Journey to the Divine Masculine. Let's see what else we get. It says reconciliation. This person wants to reconcile. What do they what does your sig significant other want to tell you? They want to tell you that they haven't forgotten about you, that you're always on their mind, and that they wish things could be different, that there's a strong desire within them to want something better for the both of you. They want reconciliation. They want to feel close to you. They want to embrace you. They want you to be a part of their lives. They're not, they want you to know that they're not happy about the past and um, what happened, I'm hearing back there. And they wish that they could uh, have done things differently. That they're, <clears throat> I choked up a little bit there, that they're very much aware. I'm hearing about their role and that they know that they should have done, could have done things differently. And the fact I'm hearing that they didn't uh, has them full of regret today. Stalemate. Stuck and stagnant, no growth or development. What this person wants you to know is that they stopped growing I mean, they stopped growing ever since you left. They feel stuck. I mean, they don't know how to move forward. I mean, they don't know how to forget you. They don't know how to make peace with all of this. Stuck and stagnant, no growth or development. This person can't move on. They feel like the world has kind of stopped moving around them. I'm hearing and they're still stuck in this, um, in, in, in this, uh, I'm hearing in this sad reality where you don't exist. This person wants you around. They want to reconcile. That's what your person wants to tell you. Three cards. We have hardship. What does your significant other want to tell you? They want to tell you that things are very difficult. That they're finding the present circumstances and the condition, uh, the, the condition of this relationship right now, they're finding it very challenging. They're f finding it very hard to move forward, I'm hearing, without you, with the way things are. It's very difficult, I'm hearing, to carry this, to go through this. It's a heavy burden, a weight that they're carrying with them. They have a whole lot of regret. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, I'm getting a cough attack. Ego and pride. I feel like the your significant other still, Amirin, has a lot of uh, a lot of issues that they have to work through. A lot of issues: ego, fear, anxiety, limiting beliefs, toxic thinking patterns, pride, afraid to take action for fear of embarrassment or shame, has difficulty apologizing. I feel like the ego was, I'm hearing ego was a problem with this individual. I feel like in the past, this individual, I feel like what they want to tell you is that they had a hard time confronting, I'm hearing their bad habits, their ego. I mean, they allowed their ego to ruin the relationship with pride. Um, I feel like this person recognized them hearing a long time ago or some time ago that they were the issue. I'm hearing, but their pride, their ego did not allow them, I'm hearing, to take accountability, to take responsibility. I'm hearing for their actions. I'm hearing for their role in all of this. 
Afraid to take action for fear of embarrassment or shame. Has difficulty apologizing. I feel like your person, what they want to tell you is that um, they have a hard time admitting. I'm hearing their wrongs. They're having a hard time. I'm hearing, or they had a very hard time saying, I'm sorry. That's what they want to tell you. One more card. We have communicate. What your significant other wants to tell you is that they want to talk to you. Your significant other wants to talk to you. They want to open up to you. I'm hearing, but they're having a hard time processing and dealing with their emotions. I'm hearing, and one of them is pride. I am sorry. I'm hearing, I'm not perfect. And I'm having a hard time explaining and admitting what my wrongs were. I have a lot of pride. I want to communicate with you, but I am scared. I'm full of fear about how that exchange is going to go. I have a lot of toxic uh, thinking patterns that I have to break, that I'm working through at this time. I'm hearing that are creating challenges in my life. I'm very well aware, I'm hearing of my role, of my ego, that my pride is a problem. I'm very well aware that these are the things that are keeping us stuck, keeping me stuck. How do I tell you that I want to reconcile? I know that first I must admit to my wrongs. I miss you. I always think about you. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. I mean, things should have been different. Things can be different. I see you in the face of strangers. You, so many things remind me of you. You're everywhere. Let's get some more cards from the Divine Feminine uh, deck. This was the Journey to the Divine Masculine. I'm not going to be using any tarot cards this time around because this is kind of like a special reading that I wanted to do for you guys this month of February for... Uh, for Valentine's Day. Let's see, we're at 12 minutes, all right? Kind of want to uh, make these short and, and sweet, or as sweet as possible, I should say. <laughs> Let's see, Taurus. Let's get some message from the Divine Feminine. It says, digging, spying on the masculine through social media, digging, So here we have messages from the divine feminine. We just heard the masculine. Now here we have the feminine. Digging. Spying on the masculine through social media. I'm hearing I'm having a very hard time dealing with all of this. I'm having a very hard time dealing with, with all of this. I'm having a hard time not uh, checking up on you. I mean, it's, 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 it's not that I'm spying on you and, and, it's, and it's not that I'm hearing that I'm obsessed or anything like that. It is just that I really care about you and, and I'm trying to understand, okay, this and th what is happening, what has happened and why. I'm trying to understand you. I'm trying to understand myself, I'm hearing, but the more I try and try, the more I get confused. The more I keep digging, I'm hearing the more I dig myself into this hole, this abyss, this darkness, and I just I just get more perplexed, I get more confused, and all of this is just so difficult for me to process, for me to understand. How do I understand you? I'm trying very hard to understand you, but I'm finding it that I'm finding that very difficult. We have picture. I feel like the 
feminine energy certainly they could have um, pictures that they're looking at or just a, a lot of memories that they have of you that they very much treasure I'm hearing I treasure our moments together we have a lot of memorable moments that I cherish um, de uh, dear to my heart and um, I think about those special moments all the times and I want to remember you I do remember you soul tribe like-minded people who get you and then here we have trigger i mean i just wish that you could understand me i feel like you don't understand me like you don't get me i feel like we're very different i want to be close to you i want us to have a deep soulful connection and i do feel it i know that you i'm hearing are part a part of my soul tribe you're a significant person in my life i know that you are but why isn't it not so i'm hearing in this reality i'm triggered i'm triggered so much uh, about how different we are you're so different than me i'm finding it very difficult to get you to understand you and myself and I wish that we could just get each other. So here, guys, we have a divine, divine feminine that is feeling very much misunderstood. Uh, very much misunderstood. I feel like the divine feminine is triggered. I feel like social media is a very big thing, guys. You see how we have a feminine energy that's on the phone. And here we see a laptop. We see another laptop here and uh, we see a bunch of pictures. So I feel like the divine feminine um, is finding difficulty. I'm hearing uh, holding back with some impulses, definitely, especially so here with these triggers. Uh, I'm hearing what it is that they're seeing, okay? it's um triggering them i'm hearing social media i'm hearing the people okay that they have around the friendships as well okay i i, I feel like um they're very much misunderstanding uh, a lot of the things that are happening let's get one more card that is the divine feminine one more card spirit one more card it says heartbreak what does the feminine want to tell you? I want to tell you that I'm heartbroken. I want to tell you that I'm sad, that I'm disappointed in the way things are. I'm disappointed in me, I'm disappointed in you. And if you ask me why, I don't really know how to explain it. I feel a soulful connection with you. I mean, I know that we are so much alike, even though it doesn't appear to be so. I'm being triggered left and right. What it is that I'm seeing on social media, it's really disturbing me. It gives me so much anxiety. I'm hearing, but still, I must see. I remember our good times there's so many memorable moments that we've spent together that i treasure that i think about all the time i'm just so sad i'm so depressed and i'm so heartbroken about the way things are and i keep digging and digging within myself for answers and still i come up with nothing i want to understand what is happening that's what the feminine wants to tell you Let's see. Let's get an oracle message for you, my dear Taurus, to close the reading. Let's see, let's see. Taurus, if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VultureVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below. <sighs> wow. It says remembrance. That goes, remembrance, okay, is the energy for your reading, for, for this, this connection, this union, this relationship. Remember, the light within your heart is the same as the rays of the sun and the glow of the moon. The same energy that moves the ocean tides also stirs inside your heart. 
What is it that your heart truly desires? What have you not said to someone that you would like to say? Find and express your truth. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.